visit svgcuts.com slash blog for tons of free SVGs, video tutorials, inspirational ideas, and the lowest price on Sure Cuts A Lot software. The Sure Cuts A Lot workspace is comprised of the main on-screen virtual mat window and five additional panels. Let's briefly discuss each one. The main window, this one here, is where you'll find your on-screen virtual cutting mat. This mat is a virtual representation of your actual physical cutting mat. Here you'll be able to add, move, and manipulate design elements, otherwise known as objects, as well as fonts. The Tools panel allows you to select the different tools necessary to perform various functions within the program, such as selecting elements, moving around the mat, typing text, and a lot more. The Properties panel allows you to change various settings for objects, text, as well as the mat. This includes the width and height, angle, alignment, and a lot more. The Font table, or the keyboard panel, is a visual representation of the font that you currently have selected. As an alternative to typing on the keyboard, the keyboard or font panel allows you to add type by using your mouse. This is extremely helpful when using dingbat fonts. And as you can see here, we've got the Arial font selected, and these are all of the characters available in that font. You can scroll down and you can see them. This includes special characters, numbers, and so on. The Shapes Library panel allows you to add objects from the built-in shapes library included with Sure Cuts A Lot, as well as optional custom-made libraries that you yourself can create using the SCAL LibitUp software. As you can see, the built-in basic shapes library includes circles and squares and rectangles and so on that can be useful in your projects. Custom libraries that you create yourself will be located under the Shapes drop-down menu. And finally, the Layers panel, which I'll bring up by clicking on a window and going to Layers, allows you to organize your fonts and or objects on your mat. Each layer is like a piece of transparency paper, and each layer can be displayed or hidden at any time. Not everyone will use all of these panels, and not everyone will have these panels organized the same way. Once you become more comfortable with the workspace and arrange it to your liking, you can save your custom workspace by clicking on the Window menu, selecting the Workspace drop-down, and clicking Save Workspace. You just give your workspace a name, and then click OK. If at any time you move your windows around, or close windows, and you want to revert to your custom workspace, you'll click on the Window option, click on Workspace, and select your customized workspace. And everything is restored to that point. So let's say you want to make another custom workspace, but without this table and without this table, but you want to bring up your layers options, and you want them this big in this corner, and you want to move this here. Well, we can go back under Window, click on Workspace, and we can save this workspace, and I'll call this one my Advanced Workspace, and click OK. And as you can see here, if we go under Window and Workspace, we have two different workspaces. Here's the first one I created. And then I can go back, and this is the advanced one that I created. You can call your workspace whatever you'd like. You can place your windows wherever you want. This is just to help you create a more custom experience in Shortcuts A Lot. If you ever wanted to delete or rename one of your workspaces, you can click on Window, go to Workspace, and click on Manage Workspaces. Here you can highlight each workspace, rename it, or delete it. 